Do you have a good Chi Chang story that you could share? Tons of them. Um, yeah, she she was a special. I, don't, I can't even say he was a. He was like an energy, uh, like it was just something special about him. You know, I mean, there's certain people in this world that are just like, are they supposed to be here? Are they not supposed to be here? They're just like these. They're like more like light than they are humans. And he was just one of those people that just like. I mean, if you, he was, a, I have to go, I mean, I've known Def Tones, Def Tones guys forever <clears throat> and I'd go see them at a show and the first person I'd see would be Chi and he would come up and give me the biggest hug and just was so welcoming and like just so loving and, uh, and it was just so amazing. And so he was always been like, kind of like, he was always like the big brother of the band. And, and, and so when him and, uh, Chino would live together, they lived together for a long time, um, at this apartment and I'd go to their apartment and he was always like kind of the protector and looking after us. And he didn't really hang, he didn't skateboard with us and stuff, but he was always there and, um, just kind of like, just always welcoming and, and let me sleep on his couch all the time. And so I have a couple of stories that we had toured with Deftones in 2006 on the Saturday night wrist tour. And we did a European run with them. And, um, it was just a kind of a weird tour for us. Cause we, when we got there, we had the wrong, we didn't have a really a, we had a van, but it sucked. It kept breaking down. It was horrible. And uh, it was just, we were just having a rough time on, on that trip. And she kind of felt bad for us. And um, so the last show of the tour was in Amsterdam. And we were kind of just hanging out in the back. And she walks up and he's like, hey, man. And he's all, get your guys together. So we all got together and he's like, hey, I got you guys this present. And so we basically opened up this thing and gave us all a box and we opened up the box and they were like these awesome knives, like not switchblades, but kind of switchblades. They're just like beautiful knives that he went and bought and he got us each one, each one of the band one. He's like, I just want to give you guys each one of these because if I can't protect you, somebody has to. So these are going to protect you if I can't be here to protect you guys. And that's I was like, cool. oh man, that's so rad. Yeah. He's out of his way shopping to go buy us a present. And, uh, I just thought that was like, that's just how he is. He was so kind and so awesome. And then that's bad. Yeah. yeah. And then I heard another story. Um, they were, some, I think they were a touring in Europe somewhere. And, um, and when you play in Europe, you know, kids don't drive to the shows. They take trains to the shows. Um, so, and Deftones, they have the headline. So when they get over, it's pretty late at night. And a lot of kids just got to run to the train to get home. And so Deftones have played and they're hanging out backstage. And then finally they go to the bus and, and there's like, one kid out there that he just was stuck at, stuck it out, you know? So he's standing there and she walks out and he's like, um, he's like, Hey, what's going on? And the kids are like, hi, man, I just wanted to meet you. Like you're my favorite band in the world. I had to meet you guys. Like I can't let this opportunity go by if I can't meet you. And it was like four in the morning or three in the morning. It was bus call. And, and she's all, you know, Do you have a ride home. He's like, no, I missed my train. You know, it was like at two o'clock. That was the last train out. So, but I could, I couldn't not miss, not see you guys. And she's like, oh, man, I feel bad about that. And he's always, he signs his stuff and talks to her for a little bit. And she's like, hold on, man, one minute. So she goes to the bus, comes back, brings his pillow and his, all his blankets on his bunk and gives it to the kid. And he says, hey, man, like, I, you know, I can't, I wish I could help you out, but I at least keep you warm. And if you find a place to sleep, you know, here, at least you have some, a pillow and like blankets keep you warm to get to wait to the next train. And the kids, oh man, the kid was like crying and shit. That's and so, cool. Yeah, Damn, and dude. she's like, yeah, man. So she had no bed and no pillow, no blanket that oh. night, but he gave to that kid off the bus. He's just very yeah. selfless. Yeah, know? he's just the sweetest guy ever. But he could be, he had two sides of him. He could be a, a terror too. Like we've had some crazy nights with him and his well, brother. It's like all of us, right? Yeah. And his brother was the, you know, his base tech for a long time, Ming. And they, those two would get together and just cause chaos. But it was entertaining though. It was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. so much fun. So he could be the Tasmanian devil and be the sweetest guy in the world. But that's just Chi, and that's why we loved him so much. And uh, yeah, he was just a special guy. And you know, I got to go see him right after his accident in the hospital, and that was pretty heartbreaking to see him that way. And then um, I became pretty close to his mom after that, and went to I went to see him pretty much every weekend for a couple of years when he was in San Francisco, and just spend time with him, hold his hand, just see if he could you know engage somehow. And you know, I tried to just be there for him because. I mean, he was pretty much known. He was there by himself for a long time. Oh, you know, his man. mom would be there with him every day. God bless his mom. She was so awesome. Um, and his family. And so, but I, you know, I don't think a lot of his friends had gone down. And so I was just trying to spend some time with them and see if he was making progress and stuff. And then, and then, you know, I got the phone call that he passed, you know, and it was just heartbreaking, but 
Yeah, it just sucks. He was just a beautiful dude, and I love that guy. 